All right, tear down is pretty much there. Got the crank out, got the uh, pistons out, and the rods out. Um, bores all look good, except for that one. Not good at all. Take a look. Those gouges, especially that spot right there, are very, very noticeable, very deep in my opinion. Uh, I don't know, everything else looks good. I don't know if that's going to be able to be honed out. I'm not sure. I don't know. Won't know until I get it to the machine shop, but they're, uh, they're pretty deep. I mean, they're really... You can hear, I mean, it's... They're really gouged there. kind of see the damage and I'll find the piston that came out of there I have everything marked here okay here we go boom you can see a good amount of wear on the sides there pretty bad deep gouges it around that's the real bad side I mean bad bad look at that I don't know hope I can still reuse the block I really do I really don't feel like dropping 700 bucks on a on a block that's gonna stall the whole build doing it that way because I want to get a I was gonna buy a uh, Eagle rotating assembly uh, new crank new pistons new uh, I-beam rods, the whole nine, but that's going to put a dampener on it. So anyway, I wanted to do an update about this, show you what's going on. I have the, uh, you know, I have everything marked and everything drawn out. Here's the uh, crank that came off. Um, everything looks pretty good on the crank. Everything looks pretty good overall, except for that, except for that cylinder wall. So. I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated once I take it to the machine shop. Okay, I'm just going to put this short little video montage together here. Um, you saw my previous video, and I'm actually going to probably use that footage on this video because this is going to be so dark and blurry. But um, I was chatting with my buddy, my YouTube buddy Tyler. <laughs> Thank God he's around. Um, he's been following this project from the beginning, and. Uh, we were just commenting back and forth, and he left a couple of really good comments on my channel, and I want to kind of put it out there and kind of splice these two together so you all can see what I'm talking about. But we found that nasty gouging in, uh, in this cylinder uh, wall there from the piston. I, I suppose it, it got hot, um, which is what caused it. But I'm going to go ahead and splice together a video of me firing this, this motor up about a year ago. Um, and you can really hear the chatter, the tap, 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 tap. It almost sounds like a diesel motor. Um, so you can kind of see, because there was no other evidence of any kind of wear or any kind of damage on this motor. I mean, we disassembled the entire thing on video and really found nothing except for this problem right here. So you're going to be able to hear this uh, in the video that I, in the video clip I play right here. Well, I guess that's what happens when she sits for six months. Like a well-oiled machine.
never seen it smoke that much before. Never let it sit that long either. <laughs> 